What's going on everybody? Today we're reviewing the Scotch Pro Thermal Laminator. Let's get started. If you're new to my channel, it's Mr. Hannah here. I'm a third grade teacher in Southern California. And I'm gonna be looking at some products that uh, have to do with the classroom. And today, we're gonna to be looking at this laminator. And all teachers know out there, lamination game needs to be strong. So I'm really excited about this. Um, it's a really cool tool to have. Um, because I can just laminate on my own, usually when I'm already home and don't have to use the timer at school to be doing it. Uh, something to be doing in the background. So I'm excited um, to get it open and see how it works. So let's get going. So I got this on Amazon and it came with the uh, thermal laminating pouches, 200 pack. I believe altogether it was $30, $50? Not quite sure. I'll put the link down below. All right, so let's get this bad boy open. So it comes here, of course, with user manual. Never read those. Uh, oh, came with a couple laminating sheets already. Okay, here we go. Nice white, blue. Matches the theme of my classroom. So it's fairly light. Three pounds or so. A few buttons on, ready. The ready lights up when it's heated. Um, you just uh, indicate whether you're putting in three milliliter, millimeter laminating sheets or five millimeter uh, laminating sheets. Uh, Anti-jam. It says anti-jam. Anti-jam. Um, I'm sure I'll find a way to jam it though. And this here, we'll figure out what this does. All right, so underneath is the power cord. We'll get that going and I'll go ahead and plug it in. So what we will do is we'll get ready for, uh, we're gonna wait for this to light up as ready, uh, green light on ready. I'll use the laminating sheet that came with it. So check out your laminating sheets. Um, the one that came with this is the three millimeter uh, size laminating sheets. I like these for posters. Um, the three or the five millimeter ones are really good and thick, especially if you have students holding it. But this one, I'm gonna be laminating some displays so kids won't be touching it too much. I've been making some labels for my classroom and um, we're gonna feed these through, see how they come out. So while this is getting ready, I'm gonna take one sheet, I'll move this out of the way. Take a sheet here. Oh, there we go. Open it up. So one of the, um, I guess disadvantages of having your labels already pre-cut is that, well one, what I'm hoping doesn't happen is when I feed it through, they move around. Sometimes if you have it on just the sheet of paper that it came out, um, some people will put the whole paper in there, kind of like this. If you take this and you just put it in there, obviously it's not gonna move around as much and then you can trim afterwards. Whereas here, I already cut my labels out and I'm hoping that they'll stay in place. If they shift around, what's gonna happen is um, they're gonna overlap like this and you're gonna have a mess going on here and you're gonna, be, you're gonna ruin that spot. So I'm gonna keep them separated um, and see how that works. All right, so it's been, uh, I don't know, maybe a minute or two, isn't quite ready. I believe it's heating up. I still don't know what this is for. I guess I will take a look at the user manual while we're waiting. Number five here is the pouch release lever. Okay. Um, while I'm waiting, I found some more labels to put on. Okay, so the light is green and it is ready to go. So let's get started. Again, disadvantage pre-cut labels is that they can and they will move around. So I wish I would have had this as just one sheet, but I'm gentle enough, it might work. All right, you do not need to jam it through, should just go fairly simply, set it. 
So now it's going by itself. It's feeding itself. I'm merely just holding it, making sure my labels do not shift around. No need to pull it through. So far, so good. Labels moved around as I was moving it up, but once it's in, it's, it's set. Okay, so I'm just putting a little slight tilt to the laminator to make it um, horizontal with the, with the table for my labels, but uh, other pieces of paper, you can just set it flat and it feeds on through. No need to pull it till it's done and then it feeds itself out and it's good to go. And there you have it. Uh, everything came out great. I'm very pleased with how the uh, labels came out. I'm pleased with the thickness. Overall, a uh, great product. Looking forward to using it more. And as soon as all my labels are laminated, I will uh, put out a video of them on the actual organizers and around the room. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and see you later.